Welcome. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make ratios using some data that I pulled out of the WRDS uh, database, which I, I think is a pretty helpful tool. So I haven't always been a huge fan of using pivot tables, but I have learned that uh, there's just no better way to do this than with pivot tables. So this data um, is posted in the learning management system, but it's basically just some data I pulled on um, Target, Nordstrom's, Walmart, and Amazon. And I'm going to compute, show you how to compute ROA, inventory turnover, and effective tax rate. So um, pull up your data and it should look just like this and just follow along. I hope it's helpful and I hope these are some tools that you can, you know, just use anytime. I think they're really helpful. So what you're looking at here is just data that comes out of the um, CompuStat database. So whenever you pull data for companies, it just dumps it out to you in these sort of, it's like one line per year is basically the idea. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take this data and we're going to go right up here, click on this top upper left hand corner box and just say insert pivot table. And it'll usually pick up the whole data set and it's happy with that. Now, what I want is in the left hand column, I'd like to have either the ticker or the company name. So I'm just going to put a uh, company name. I'm going to pull that down here into rows. And so that gives me all my companies right there. And then I'd like to also have ticker symbol right next to it. It always likes to put it underneath. So I've learned that if I go up here into uh, design and I click on report layout, show in tabular form, uh, that will push the tickers over here, but then I've got to go in here and turn off the totals and turn off the subtotals. So I did that by just clicking on this, do not show subtotals, and then in uh, grand totals uh, on off for all rows and columns. So then this gives me my nice little table I want to see. Now, the next thing I want to do is I have to come up with whatever um, ratios I'm, I'm trying to compute. But I think it's important before I do that just to sort of show you. So let's just say we wanted no ratios. We just want to put assets. We could put assets over here and it gives us a choice. We can have the sum of assets, which so this would be the sum of all the assets for Amazon for the time period of our table. Remember, it spans like five years or something. Um, but I don't necessarily find that all that useful. Instead, what I want to do is take this uh, fiscal year date and um, before I actually do anything, I'm going to move it over here so you can see it better. And I'm going to go here to this little down arrow over here and I'm going to click on that. Whoops. What's the deal here? So I'm going to grab this d data year physical, click on that, but I want this to be in my columns. So I'm going to put it here. And what it does is if I put it in this columns, um, it'll separate out my data by, by year. So Notice I've got 2015, 16, 17, 18, because it knows how many years are there. Now, I don't have anything in here that I'm interested in, but because I pulled out the assets. But if I was to put the assets down here, um, I could put, and it would give me, this is the assets for each of these different years. Now, I generally will put average. Now, I don't, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be the same. But that's okay. All right, so the whole point of this was to show you how to make ratios. So let me just show you that. So here we are, we're in the pivot table uh, menu. We're gonna go to analyze and we're gonna click on field items and sets and make a calculated field. So the first field I'm gonna make is ROA and we calculate ROA as EBITDA divided by total assets. So let's go here. 
calculate our field. We're going to make type in here ROA, and then down here the formula is going to be this um, earnings before interest and put that in there, and then divided by total assets, which are right here, assets total, insert field, and you say OK, and it just puts it here at the bottom of this list. So, and I guess I'd also put it over here. Now, we don't want the sum, we want to take the average, which again, doesn't really matter, but I just like it better that way. Okay, and then the next one we're going to make is going to be effective tax rate. So we'll go here and we'll write uh, ETR, one of my favorites to calculate because I always think it's interesting to see how much people, companies actually pay in taxes. So we take the taxes paid, which is TXPD, right here, income taxes paid. We're going to insert that there and we're going to divide it by the sum of pre-tax in income, which is PI, minus SPI. There's a few different ways you can do this, but this one works well for me. I like it. So we got effect tech, effective tax rate, and then let's try profit margin also. So we go to calculated field. Profit margin is going to be, we need Rev T, cost of goods sold, S, G, and A, which I'm not sure if we've got here. Let me see here. Um... No, we don't. We've got net income. So we can do a form of profit margin. I, I don't know if it's the best one, but we'll go with that. Uh, we'll do net income. And we're going to divide net income by Rev T. Now, I might do it a little bit differently in a perfect world, but it turns out it's not a perfect world. So we got this, so we're going to add that. Say OK. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to change these uh, to instead of sum of effective tax rate, we're going to do the average. It um, doesn't matter really. As long as you don't have the count in there, it will probably be the same exact value because there's only one uh, for each year, but that's OK. Um, now, <clears throat> what we should have is these ratios for kind of sectioned up by year. So this is great, except for pivot tables are kind of hard to work in. So what I like to do is go down here and then I type in here, um, this is the pivot for the ratios. And then I like to grab it out of here, copy it, take it over to another table, and then I'm going to insert it just as values because you really can't work in here. We're going to go over here and we're going to now take a look at these. We've got this um, average of assets in here, which we really don't need. So let's go back in here and just get rid of this average of assets back out of there. And then we'll just recopy over this because it's not that difficult. We'll just recopy it. It doesn't really matter if we do this or not, but we're going to paste values and we're going to delete what we already have here. Now, what we've got here is um, ROA, and then this is ETR, and this is a profit margin. And we've got it for this year 2015, so let's merge these cells together like this. So it looks a little neater. And then we can take this, copy it, and then just paste it right across. We could also grab all of them like this, copy, and then just paste it. Now, I've got this sort of set up nicely, but I'm going to put a little box around this year just to make it, it makes it just easier to read it when you're trying to, you know, pull these numbers off for use. So I find this helpful. Of course, you don't have to. And then I'll bold these and put them in the center. And then I just like to pick up this. Oh, and I want to also make these into percentages. So I find that easier to deal with. But I want to see a few decimals, so maybe two is enough. So now that I have this, I can copy my format like this. Now another trick I learned a few years ago that I think is super useful is if you click on this and you double click on your format pa painter, then you can format paint that and this and this and this. If you don't double click, you can only format paint one thing. I find that super useful. Okay, so now we're gonna maybe format paint this.
and then this last one. And then, you know, I don't know, a box around it or something like that. So here we've got this box. You can do whatever you want. And then there you have it, a nice little table of the return on assets, effective tax rate, and the profit margin for each of these companies by year. And so then super easy to, you know, if someone wants to ask you, you know, what's the return on assets for Amazon in 2018? Well, I mean, here's the number right there. It's just easy. And so, I don't know, I just think it's a really useful tool. So take it or leave it, but here you go. How to use a pivot table to to do annual financial ratios. Have a great day. Bye.